Spiritual amnesia. Probably never heard the term. But let me describe it. This, as you can tell, is an apple. Sweet fruit, all juicy and stuff. Inside this apple are a bunch of seeds, which I'm not going to break out right now. You all know what an apple seed looks like. You realize that as an apple seed grows, the DNA of that apple seed doesn't change. So you plant a seed in the ground, deep, dark, and dirty, and you water it, and it starts to sprout and starts to grow. It shoots up a, a leaf out, a sprig, which turns into a trunk. That's the same life carrying up through, which then goes into branches, the same life that's in the seed carrying through. From the branches, you get leaves. From the leaves, you get these flowers appear, which get the bees coming. And then the flower falls off and you get a little bud, which grows into an apple that is exactly like the apple that the seed came from. You see your dreams, your goals, your ambitions, as you might call them. That's it right there. You don't change. You don't become a different person as you grow. What you do is you start slowly to manifest that life that was in you from the very moment you were born. From the very moment you were born, you were a top performer. You were a CEO. You were an executive. You were a president. Whatever that dream that's in you is. A great singer. A poet. An Olympic athlete. Whatever that dream that is in you is in that seed that's in you, that's growing. And you grow into that, branch, that trunk, into the branch, into the leaf, into the flower. And finally you grow into the fruit. It's the same you. It's the same DNA. You don't have to become a different person to become, and I don't even like that word, become, was the one we always use to become that person that you aspire to be. You are already that person. What you need to do, the same as you do with an apple tree. You plant, you fertilize, you heal it up, you water, you prune. You prune off those unfruitful branches so that the fruit that comes is nice and big and juicy. That's what we're like. So don't be thinking that you have to become something to aspire to your dream. You are that right now. It's all inside of you. It just has to be brought out. Unfortunately, some of that gets brought out through trials and tribulations. Pruning. Some of that through healing up the soil around you. Education, etc. And some of that through watering which is coaching. So that thing that you want to be, the reason, the reason that you have this dream in your heart of who you could be, the single sole reason is because that's who you really are. That's who you are. And now it's up to you to take those steps to manifest and let that seed grow in you to become, to manifest, to bear the fruit of that dream. It's up to you now. You can either wither away with no rain, shrivel up, and betray yourself. Or you can do the work. Start to water that life that's in you so that it will manifest and bear the fruit of that great person that you are.